biomethane fuel can be produced from different types of waste. Bio waste including kitchen and catering waste. In fall shipping, the inhabitants uh, are able to sort out their household waste in these kind of paper bags. Uh, so that's the kind of uh, substrate we use in the biogas production. Municipal and household green waste. Sewage sludge, resulting from wastewater treatment. So don't forget uh, the sewage. It's, it's uh, energy content and you can uh, resource, you can use to a lot of things. Biogas can also be produced from livestock liquid manure as well as from food processing industry waste. Once collected, organic waste decomposes in an anaerobic digestion chamber. In an organic recovery center, bio-waste is first of all pre-treated in a preparation area. The next step in the pre-treatment is in the sieving out big material which is not suitable for entering into the digester for bio production. In a sewage treatment plant, wastewater decants into basins. The remaining sludge is recovered and thickened. Before it goes to the digesters, uh, we have to remove some water from from the sludge, and that we do in the uh, pre-watering units. And then it enters the digester and we heat it. And here in Griab we use uh, district heating. The waste is digested through an anaerobic process for around 21 days. Raw biogas is then recovered, made of methane, carbon dioxide, and some traces of water and hydrogen sulfide. It was beneficial to add additional core substrates to it to have a better yield, a better quality and a very constant uh, flow of biomethane. And it adds additional income. From the digesters, Raw biogas is transported to an upgrading unit. Several upgrading technologies exist. Water scrubbing, pressure swing absorption or chemical absorption. During this phase, raw biogas is purified and its methane content is concentrated to over 98% in order to attain an equivalent quality to the natural gas used in the grid. Carbon dioxide and some other pollutants are removed. It's important to realize that this carbon dioxide is not a contribution to the greenhouse gas. This is carbon dioxide that is already in the, cycle, in the carbon cycle. So we're not adding to the um, uh, climate change. The quality of the exhaust air is managed with both chemical and biological processes such as the use of wood shavings. Biomethane can be transported via dedicated underground pipes to filling stations or the bus depot. High pressure mobile storage containers are used when public filling stations are too far from the production site. Biomethane can also be injected into the natural gas grid. This way we can distribute biogas in an efficient manner uh, through the existing systems well, without having to build up a parallel distribution system. Flares are compulsory safety equipment, used only in case of overproduction of gas. A zero emission plant uh, of this, uh, so it's very, very, very good. And if you compare 
what you have in this process from the beginning. It's, it's a very good thing. We take care of all the gas. And the meaning is no flaring in the future. Biomethane can be used as a fuel by a wide range of gas-driven vehicles. Waste collection trucks, buses, taxi fleets, service cars, or private cars. So we try to keep the biogas price a little bit lower, so it should always be favor economically favorable to refuel biogas. We choose the Ford Focus CNG, and we are tremendously satisfied with this car because we do something for our environment and our driving um, Students are very satisfied to drive with gas. In order to distribute biomethane fuel and use it in vehicles, it is essential to have adequate filling stations available. These have specialized equipment. Compressors to bring the gas to a pressure of over 200 bars, storage facilities and feeling stations. There are backup systems to cope with any halts in production. This is the backup station for Bern mobile buses. It's possible to, to fill up to 10 buses per hour. This is all um, in the interest of the society. Because of the good air quality you get, because of the use of, of different waste products, and because of the climate change that we all have to fight for. And going together in the society and building biogas production and use in the public sector, I think it's a very good way to go into the future. We are proud to, to reduce 2,000 tons of carbon dioxide per year. There are four elements which facilitate uh, to decide for a gas-driven car. First of all, insurance fees are lower. Second, you get incentives when you buy a car from the local energy company, such as Energie Wasser Bern. Number three, you have uh, tax reduction. And number four, you have uh, cheaper fuel. And I have to say that uh, Biogas West is uh, the engine in the development because of the collaboration between producers of biogas, uh, the distributors, but also the market. And we put them together on a platform in this Biogas West project. Biodigestion ends up with residues called digestates which are used by farmers. Rich in nutrients, they can be spread as biofertilizers on farmland. Digestates can also be transformed into dry compost in order to make storage and transport easier. Organic waste recycling, production of renewable energy for transport, biofertilizers, greenhouse gas reduction, Biomethane's life cycle can also claim its own label of guarantee. The label has a, a guarantee. It has a guarantee of origin. It has a guarantee that it has been produced ecologically in an ecological way. It has been proven that they don't have methane slip, which means methane in the air, which, are, which is a high air pollutant. So this is excluded or minimized. So whenever you buy bi labeled biomethane, you can be sure that you have an ecologically very valuable fuel. <laughs>